everyone, we are looking at the November scroller box this week which had a super random collection of things. This awesome sticker, a musical lollipop, a regular pencil, some drop book, a fat jelly roll, some rolled up paper, a black pen, a stick of graphite, some coloured pens, some coloured pencils and I forgot to mention we also got an eraser pencil which we'll see later on. So we're just starting the testing the materials section of the video now and all of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory so I sped this up quite a bit and I kind of felt like Scrollerbox couldn't quite make up their mind this week and it felt like two different people packed the boxes. On one hand you had this lovely graphite pen with a little blending tool and an eraser and then on the other hand you had like really colourful pens and pencils that didn't really go with the... They don't really go together, if you get what I mean. It was kind of like a bit of a weird box, but I did enjoy using all the materials and I do try and use all of them in the final image. So one of the things is this uh, eraser pencil, and I think that we've got this once before in a scroller box, and I think they're really fun when you first get out of the box, but then when you have to sharpen it, I don't really think it sharpens very well. I tried it three different sharpeners and it didn't sharpen to a nice point. And also the same with this blender pencil. Um, Sharpening those is a real pain in the, in, the, in the sharpener. And moving on to the ballpoint pens. These are the Bic Crystal Fun ballpoints and they got lovely colours. And they had this little rubbery bit at the top which took a couple of minutes to figure out how to take off. You basically just took it off and it worked. So that made me feel like an idiot. And this uh, regular black ballpoint pen which I actually forgot to use after this point. And then this month's uh, challenge was body parts. So I did a few sketches and I thought for the body parts it would be cool to make a little android who's maybe made out of like discarded body parts and leftover bits and she's at the sale of the body part shop and she's trying to find a new leg because she's just got some sticks stuck to her. So I traced my image that I sketched in my sketchbook because I really liked it and I just popped it on some regular paper because this month Scrollbox didn't give us any paper, they gave us that job book instead which is really nice for taking notes and stuff but the paper was very very thin so I didn't want to do my final on it because I really liked this idea. So I'm just going ahead and sketching in the background with the Koinor 1860 graphite pencil which is just a regular regular pencil I can't I think it's I think it's got a B in it or an H so I tried to make the background a little bit chaotic I erased it all so I could color it in with the pencils in the background so basically what I wanted to do is keep the Android kind of center of attention so you focus on her but I also wanted to have a little bit cutter in the background so you can see where she is So it's kind of more suggested than anything. So there's like this pot of eyeballs and then in the background there's this big tub of like discarded body parts and stuff. So that was pretty fun to think of and to draw. And then these pencils are the Stedler Ergosoft 157 pencils. They gave us three colours. I'm not sure if every box gets the same colours because sometimes when I watch other people's scroller box videos they have different colours than me. But I think this week maybe they do because the pencils and the pens are very similar in colour which was pretty cool to work with. So these pencils have a triangular grip which I really appreciate and apparently they have an anti-breaking system which means they will break less which is good. So I did say earlier this blender didn't really work very well on these pencils but they it actually does if you kind of really smush quite hard. You might have seen it in the close-up earlier. It kind of uh, fills in all the little white bits that your pencil had missed previously and it just softens it all up which I thought was quite nice because I just wanted the background to be really soft and not really the focus. And then once I blended in all the background I started on my little android and I didn't really have any trouble with this because I just traced it from my sketchbook and I kind of knew exactly what I wanted to do. It was basically a complete replica. Um, I don't really draw in ballpoint pens a lot, even when I've been drawn in ink I do microns or you know other other pens like that. So drawing in ballpoint pen was a little bit of a challenge. I wouldn't really say it's a challenge, it's just different. And one thing I always notice about ballpoint pens, ball boy ballpoint oh man, that's a hard word. They're hard word to say that's a hard word to say. Ballpoint pens. One thing I do notice is you know when they get kind of um a lot of ink and then it comes off in a little blob and if you smudge that blob you've basically just ruined the entire picture. 
so I did clean it off. I, I'm using tracing paper for my hand, so I did kind of scribble a few times on the tracing paper to get rid of any excess ink, which worked quite nicely. But they are very lovely and smooth. They're the Bit Crystal Fun Ball Points, and they're quite nice to use. And you could, I didn't really try pressing lightly, but I'm sure that you could press lightly and get a lighter mark and then build up your marks, which I did. I kind of went in on the edges and built up some weight. So yeah, they're quite fun to use. I might try and use them in the future. I know a lot of people say it's really good to use ballpoint pens because um, they can't be erased. So you just kind of have to like go with it and it helps you get more confident in your line work and making marks, which is something I need to work on. So I'm just going in and colouring in all the little crevices and stuff there. So this little android, I don't even know what the story is. I just thought it'd be cool to have a sad little robot with, like she's a made up of all different styles of stuff and just adding some shadow in with that graphite pencil. This is where it kind of comes into the part where they don't really mix well together because especially on when you put it down a little bit too much it made it really grey and weird. And then I had to use the jelly roll. I actually own one of these myself so I know how they work. They're quite nice but sometimes they don't really work that well and I think also mixing with this pencil it might be a little bit waxy to work on top of the pencil. But it worked well over the pen. So the... I think I've mentioned everything apart from that jumbo graphite stick which was koi Noor again and you can make really large areas of soft pencil and it has a really nice sharp point. I have no idea how you would sharpen that though. And then I forgot to mention the black pen which I didn't use but it's just the regular black pen. So that is my body parts final image. And that's my scroller box video. So if you like this, make sure you subscribe because I put one of these out every month. Hope you guys like that and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.